What's going on YouTube? Spencer Clays here back with another video about how I made 1200 bucks in three hours from cleaning some solar panels, doing the gutters and treating the roof. We're going to be getting into making money with this business, doing the actual cleaning and how you can get more jobs just like this for your business. So stay tuned for the real money details later in this video. And as always, if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. It really helps out the channel. I often base my next videos on the awesome suggestions you guys give me. So I look forward to hearing your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, whatever you got, bring it on. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So this job had 48 panels and some junk in the gutters and it was kind of an interesting situation. The solar panel company had promised this lady they would clean the panels the first year but they were so busy they couldn't make it out and told her to find someone else to do it and they would just pay for it. So after a couple weeks of calling other companies she finally found my website and even though it was about an hour or so away with the number of panels and such it was definitely going to be worth my while so I packed up and headed down on a Saturday to knock this out. Brought my girlfriend and my little dog along you might see them wandering around throughout the video. But anyways, when the customer first approached me, she asked if I did solar panels, and I've definitely cleaned a few of them before at some of my customers' houses, but I always consider myself a yes man, meaning if someone asks if I can do something, I almost always say yes first and figure out the details later. Come to find out that as a professional solar cleaner, you do not actually use any chemicals or need any crazy special tools, but the one thing you really need to have is what's called deionized water which is just a fancy way of saying filtered water. And it's what many pros use for window cleaning, car detailing and such. Cause if you use like standard hose water from your house, no matter where you live, the water's gonna have chemicals, minerals, and a bunch of what's called dissolved solids. People rate water on what's called a TDS scale, which is total dissolved solids. And if you have a high TDS and use it to clean windows or solar panels, when the water dries, you're gonna see spots from the minerals and stuff in the water. To avoid these mineral spots, I did some research, watched many videos, thank God for YouTube, and bought the water deionizing filter system you saw at the beginning and a brand new 100 foot hose because you also don't want to use an old hose that can have buildup of other stuff in it. This new equipment ran me about 500 bucks. If you want to check it out, there are links below to all of it. If you use those links, I think I get like five cents or something like that. But anyways, it worked super well and I doubled my money on the first job. Now I have the equipment to offer this service a lot more, which I definitely plan on doing. Yeah, let's get into the process a little bit. If I was gonna teach someone how to clean solar panels, that video could be about 30 seconds long because it's super simple. As you can see, all we need is a hose with filter water and a brush that is rated for windows, and we're pretty much good to go. In this job, I used two hoses, one with normal water from the old hose, and then the brand new hose with filter water because the filter lasts about 300 gallons or so, which isn't a crazy amount, and so to conserve that a bit, I rotated it with tap water. Just definitely make sure that the final rinsing is done with the filtered water only. Obviously, as then we're not going to get any spots and it's going to dry looking really good. Side note, when the panels did start to dry, they looked super weird and almost oily. I thought maybe I did something wrong, but my customer was saying that's just how solar panels look when they're clean and aren't wet. It's more like a matte finish, kind of like how a computer or a TV screen looks. So that's totally normal. I still ended up going over the panels multiple times, did several rinses to make sure I didn't miss any spots. But yeah, just wet the panels down, brush them good, loosen up all the dust, pollen and such. Then rinse them back down again to keep everything off and you're good to go. I also cleaned the outside around the edges as they started to get a buildup of algae, so keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the gutters too. My customer didn't actually tell me to do them. I just went ahead and cleaned the gutters and the skylights. We even sprayed some wasp nest and took care of everything up on the roof she needed because that's just the right thing to do. And she ended up giving me an extra 350 bucks, which was very sweet of her. But that is pretty much it as far as the actual panel cleaning is concerned. You definitely don't need any chemicals just a bit of elbow grease as sometimes the algae or whatnot doesn't want to come off. I imagine you could use some sort of window scrubber or scraper to get that off, but I just used my sleeve to get it off and it worked just fine. Also, as always, be careful when you're up on the roof. It's wet, there's hoses. So rope up, be safe, get good boots, and you should be good to go. This job went awesome without a hitch.
And as promised at the beginning, I mentioned we would go into getting jobs like this for your business. So initially this customer found my website, which brings me in a good amount of customers on autopilot, which is nice. I'll have to do a video on Google My Business later, but however, as you guys know, I don't like to rely on Google. I prefer Facebook ads because I've just found them to be the cheapest and easiest to get set up. Plus it's more reliable when you kind of know how much money it costs to get a lead. All you have to do is just spend that amount and you can generate as many leads and jobs as you want. Right after this job, I actually ran an ad using some of this exact footage you're seeing in this video. Some quick tips and tricks I used are that vertical videos, you know, like the TikTok style have been performing the best. And I've seen this to be true over the last few months. So get some good time lapses of you doing whatever. Run that as an ad with a good offer for your services. I talk more about that in other videos and also my book. If you want to check those out, there are links below. But the first results are in from the last couple days. I've gotten four messages so far from $20 spent. That's about $5 per lead and two of them are very interested. I've already got their addresses. I'm going to head over later this week to do their solar panels. So that should be about $600 made from $20 of ad spend. Not too bad at all. Definitely start learning this skill of Facebook ads. I highly recommend it. It will give you the ability to pretty much print money on demand. So check out the book, some of the courses and free resources below. As far as the business side goes, solar panel cleaning is definitely a huge opportunity that I'm seeing. So if you already have any sort of cleaning business, this would be a great service to add on, or you could even just start this up as your sole service that you provide. Either way, there's a ton of money to be made here. There's only going to be more people that are getting solar panels. The demand is only going up. This is a great space to get in on. As you saw, to start up this business, it only took about $500 in equipment, and you can make that back really fast. In this job, I ended up charging about $15 per panel to clean them. I've heard people charge anywhere from $12 to $18 per panel, but plus travel time, tax, and the $350 she gave me to do the gutters, it ended up being $1,200, and the whole job took me about three hours, so I will take that for a chill Saturday's work. But that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. I really do read all the comments, so be sure to let me know your thoughts below. Much love. Peace.